السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما Peace be upon you um, I'm going to speak about visiting the tomb of the great Muslim scholar the Sheikh of Islam the great Muslim scholar the Sufi saint Sayyid Ibrahim al qurji al-Dazuki uh, often referred to as Ibrahim al-Dazuki uh, who uh, resides in Egypt in a city known as the Suk. Uh, I'm going to speak about visiting his shrine I'm not going to speak about his life or matters concerning him uh, there's a great number of uh, 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 papers and books and videos and things available for people to do that research but my purpose is, is speaking about a personal experience in visiting him um, so and this is a, a visit that took place uh, some decades ago uh, that's the out there for public consumption so um, the area called the souk is not in the center of Cairo or uh, in a very touristy part of Egypt it's actually in um, probably closer to Alexandria I suppose so if you arrived in Cairo you'd have to um, get uh, adequate transportation to a remote area such as that um, and it's an area that's been visited by Japanese people, by Malaysian people, by American people, by British people, by Arabian people, by African people, by if you name it from the Muslim world, there's probably been someone who's gone there to visit, uh, including the uh, scholars of the uh, great university known as Al-Azhar in Cairo. So, uh, it was a... a interesting journey for us because we, we um, some of us were on our first trip to Egypt so it, you know we're seeing the landscape and the people and you know all the excitement that comes with visiting a place for the first time uh, enjoying the food and etc etc and then we come to these areas that are very much like farm like and uh, and I again repeat this visit took place decades ago right come to areas that were like farm like and very different from Cairo uh, you know a lot of nature if you appreciate nature and then we arrived to this huge masjid this huge mosque and um, this is the mosque of Sayyid Ibrahim uh, and this mosque can be filled with people on a Friday it can be filled with people praying their daily prayers can be filled with people making liquor it's uh, it's an amazing thing to see uh, it's it's a it's one of those places that people would make sajda upon arrival and when I say sajda the prostration that is done for a joy or a, a being thankful not necessarily because you just scored a goal in a football match but I mean like for something substantial and important you know in in your life and you want to show gratitude to Allah this is a place where you would see someone make this kind of prostration just for the fact that they were able to arrive to such a place and there are actually two uh, uh, at least two um, Sufi saints buried there and uh, they're actually Related, so there's uh, Ibrahim the Suki and um, Sidi Musa Abd al Iran, and uh, it's um, uh, as I said, it's a tomb, it's a mosque, it's a community center, if you will, it's a um, uh, shining light on a dark night, and uh, basically. Um, we are talking about people who are serious about their worship not you know anyone that would appear to be far out crazy or anything of that nature but you know uh, 
if, if anyone has those type of ideas, put it out your mind. We're talking about serious people who are normal, sober, sturdy, steady, and practicing their, their Islamic religion according to the scholarly practices of the uh, earliest of Muslims. But they have this love and respectful adoration for uh, these pious predecessors, predecessors among whom is Sayyid Ibrahim Makarisi Dasuki. I felt at peace there. I felt um, uh, as if I'd stepped out of the world and entered into a, a space of uh, just tranquility. You know, listening to the sound of birds and seeing the expressions on people's faces and you know, seeing their willingness to call upon Allah and uh, being en engulfed in that um, peaceful state. It was very um, impressive and um, it's sort of like, you know, the, it's um, contagious, if you will. You know, when you go in an environment of sickness, you'll gather sickness towards you perhaps. Uh, or an environment of hate, you can attract that hate can be you know drawn towards you, or affect you, or likewise environments of peace and and love and and uh, charity or whatever you know has a positive uh, energy to it that also can be drawn towards you and you can benefit from that. So I I uh, received positive energy in that place and I would. Um, uh, Again, say this was a visit that took place in the 1990s, and I'm, I feel very blessed to have made that visit. And I wish that um, uh, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala will will preserve that place and the people of that place. I mean, and I wish that uh, anyone who is looking for uh, traveling to a place that is um, of, you know strong religious virtues as well as has had a great spiritual impact upon a society then I would recommend visiting that place even if only for historical reasons. Assalamu alaikum.